Hi guys, we are returning to MTG Finance and we'll talk a little bit about Lyra. In the past, I have been criticized for not giving the reasoning of why these cards are spiking. Lyra, in case you don't know, C has more than doubled in price. Picking a card when I did five or six days ago before the spike is very difficult because the large majority of cards will go down in price. So when you read an article behind a paywall, the article just says, oh, this card will go down in price, this card will go down in price, this card will go down in price. And that's true. So it's safe to say, hey, Lyra is not going to be great, she's not going to find a home, and she will go down in price. I did the opposite, which is way more difficult. Pick the one card, put all your eggs in one basket, and say this is the card. She did not disappoint. So we will see Card Kingdom, TCG Player, as well as Star City Games. They are all sold out, at least Card Kingdom and Star City Games at $34.99. Even if you assume that she only barely doubled, I made money. And my 40 copies, 32 of them are already in I own them. And I will be making a video. I, I might keep them. I'll make a video on whether or not I'm going to keep them. I do expect right now. For me, I live in Texas. There is a GP in Dallas sometime. I'm pretty sure. Or Star City Invitational in Dallas. There's always one. Now would be the time to offset it. I just received a text from one of my friends who owns a store. And he is willing to buy eight copies at $22.50 buy list. Which isn't bad, but the drive is about 15, 20 minutes away. So this is Star City Games. Yeah. She was the crown princess. And I know a lot of you don't like, and you think it's kind of creepy. and you. So before, this isn't the only time people have criticized my picks, uh, not based on whether or not it's a good pick, but based on they don't like me. They don't like the way I talk, they don't like the way I act, they don't like the way I behave. But they never have a good reason this card is not going to go up. And when the card goes up, as I will show you with Elspeth Sun's champion, so that is a very interesting story. At the time, the biggest MTG finance person was someone named John Medina. He had a Twitter following of 5,000. He wrote, Pack the Power. And he was the biggest. This was before MTG Finance Reddit. Now he wanted to, he was promoting a video I had said, and in that video I said Elspeth Sun's Champion would be a dominant card and it would double or triple in price. Lo and behold, that's what she did. So you might think, oh, these MTG Finance people, they're going to say, hey, good job, MTG Lion, you did a good job. No, that's not what they will ever tell you, right? Because they need to hide behind paywalls. They need to hide behind, you know, it's information is out there. So I will go over my rationale and then I'm going to go on my spicy rant about the finance community. C is Baneslayer Angel. Uh, in the previous video, you can go back and look. It's all time stamped. Many of you may even have watched the video. I have a graph comparing her to Baneslayer Angel, and I probably mentioned Baneslayer Angel five or six times, and how people would put her in five color control. People would stuff Baneslayer Angel in decks that didn't really make sense. I had a friend, and he played a mono red deck. It had four lands that could produce um, red or white, and he had four Bane Baneslayer Angels. It was. Uh, it had a nickname. It's. It's like nickname was Merry Christmas or something like that. I forget what her nickname was, but she was dominant. She was a forty, fifty dollar card. I look at this and I say, huh. This card is just as strong, if not more strong. Even ignoring the the last ability, the plus one plus one ability. What what's going to beat her in today's standards? See. Trades with dinosaurs quite well. She is, uh, once, once she gets a hit in, doesn't matter if she dies. Once she gets a hit in, it buys you enough time to board wipe and reset. 
So it's not the fact that she is going to control the board herself. She has every... When I look at a card, I look at the power level. And I've told you many times, I look at the power level and how unique it is. That's how I came to the conclusion that Falea would one day become a $10, $20 card. 20 was pushing it. I didn't realize it would be 20 um, And then got reprinted, and now it's back to sub-10 again. But still not bad for a card that was $2 for the longest time, for years and years and years. Same with Malaria. Same, although she has been up and down, the birthing pod ban definitely didn't help. So Malera Pod was really good at the time. Now I'll tell you the story about Elspeth. So I used to de do these pre-order or very early speculations all the time. I used to do one card a set. Set. I had done Elspeth, I had done Voice, and I had done Archangel of Prune. This is all cataloged. It is all datad. And this is MTG Finance. What I made a video. The video was about Elspeth Sun's Champion. It was promoted by the top MTG Finance person at the time to other MTG Finance people. This was before Reddit. And they ripped it to shreds. And they ripped it based on the way I talked. They ripped it on the base way I looked. They ripped it on everything that was not relevant to the card. That card dominated the Pro Tour over at least two pro tours it was the most dominating control planeswalker since jace the mind sculptor and i knew it because i looked at the power level and i said huh so this costs six and that's why i think that's why they criticized they cost too much but when you're in control deck six is okay if it stabilizes the board so this is what I say, when you berate, belittle, blah, 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 much hatred. And this was in 2014. I mean, that's such a long time ago. And then Dr. Jeebus was another big personality, a very angry personality at the time. Also, IRC, I don't remember what that means. Uh, your logic was absolutely terrible. So prediction after prediction after prediction, which is very difficult to do. And right after I get something that they rip me apart, instead of saying, oh, great job, great job, which for whatever silly reason at the time I was expecting them to say, of course, that's not reasonable now. I understand that because paywalls, right? Or email list to buy out cards that are total trash. And yeah, so the new crown princess, Lyra, uh, if you listen to me and you have some copies, now would be the time to sell. You can always buy back later. Uh, I may or may not sell. And the thing is, I know it will go down in price. But man, they are nice to look at. Um, later on, this is very late at night. Now, this is like 12.32 a.m. on a Tuesday. But later on, I will show you them. I'm hoping to get the other eight Four of them don't have tracking, so that's a little worrisome, but they must have sent out because I ordered them a while ago. I'm not worried about someone not sending it to me. And then 40, because the 40 looks really good. So a 40, um, so the 4x4, four four, right? The uh, binders that I have, the 4x4 four four binders, 40 looks really good because it's a whole page and then half a page. And I'm hopefully going to get the remaining eight that I have paid for already. They were ordered, they were the eight last ordered. But yeah, Lyra. I mean, there you go. Like, people, I remember when a certain MTG finance person wrote on MTG headquarters how, like, terrible a person I was and how he got all these quotes from people in the finance community. I don't like them. They do not like me. I'm heavily motivated to be, have more subscribers than MTG Reddit, the MTG Finance Reddit. That is the only thing that motivates me to make really good MTG Finance videos. And now you know why. I'm not going to... How many of those people say Lyra? Like, I want to know. How many of those people have documented evidence, like I do, way before the spike? Not way before. I mean, it's way before given how long the card has been out. 
but I want to know how many of them, them pick Lyra because any card not named Lyra as a percentage, as a uh, value, as a overall speculation, sees perfect. 12 to $14, you buy in. You can buy as many copies as you want. People are super happy to sell it to you at that point. Now C is probably going to buy less. He's buying less thing, at least for me, for $22. That's a $10 profit on the Lyra's. Tell me what else has gone like Karn. Like even if you bought Karn at like thirty-five and went up to forty, you're not going to get forty for it. I'm talking about the price you can sell it. You go to GP Dallas or that Dallas event that's coming soon. Yeah, people are going to want Lyra. She is the princess of the set, and I knew. I looked at it, I thought about it, and I bought them. Then I made a video about it. So by the time I made the video, they were already coming to me in the mail. And she only spiked yesterday. So you cannot tell me that I spiked her because I didn't spike her due to the fact that my actions happened way before that she spiked. Well, in comparison to how long she's been out. She went up because she's being played in the control deck, which is what exactly what I said. She's a dominant card in the control deck. Bye, guys.